Hello, welcome back to the Ring of Pain. Today we are going to be hopping into an inverted candle run. Uh, we're going to try and earn our first light badge um, on inverted candle and maybe finish our spoon. Um, I think right now we have the gold spoon, right? Yeah. Um, so we could we could attempt to finish that, which would be very fun. Uh, let's get a little bit of clarity going, I guess. Ooh, maybe we go negative clarity and go for some of the negative bonus items. Oh, wait a minute. Those new items could be huge for this mode. You could dump every stat. Oh, man. I have so many ideas now, but I don't know. Okay, hold on. We need to we need to play this smart. I almost want to restart <laughs> because I got ideas now. But all right, none of these really give us anything we need. Unfortunate. Okay, we could take we could definitely take Soul Stealer. Soul Stealer is actually a decent white item on this mode. Ferocity, no. We are going to need some passive ways to heal due to our lack of clarity. Ooh. We're really just like not getting any HP stat increases here. There it is. We definitely want to focus that. Um, I want to try and kill everything in the room first, because I want the souls to be able to reroll. Okay, cure is good. That was free. Waiting rags is also pretty good. Oh. Uh, the Black Opal could be a really great... Uh, way to um give us like a temporary actually we could just get rid of it right now well no i don't want the stats from it permanently is the thing right because i eventually want to get rid of this if we can get one of those new purple items so is there anything we want to throw in wishful we could do no i don't think so i think we'll just head on through maybe see if there's a stat card in here there is not. That's okay. We need HP bad. Well, there it is. Uh, we'll probably end up taking a bear trap from that. Um, let's crit you. Grab more HP. Hmm. Plus four speed when you have four or fewer items equipped. Yeah, that's no good for us right now. I think the cure is really important. I sort of like... I, I, like I said, both of these items are pretty close in value for me. I kind of like poison more just because I'm in an, in an aggressive kind of feel today, but I think Cure is better. Ooh, that could be really good. Alright, let's definitely pick up Letter Tool for now. We'll pick up the Bear Trap, definitely take the Ambush. We should be able to survive this, no problem, because even if there's a large enemy, we can take the Bear Trap, which there was not faster than everything. Gambler's Reward, again, is very good. Um... And we have a negative stat, so I think we definitely take this. Yeah, let's go Gambler's Reward. And we hang on to we hang on to this black opal and hope for either a void or a um what's the other one called? The one that always gets me killed. Cancel that. The one that I always kill myself while using. All right. 
We have decent um, HP now, so I don't need to keep throwing all my points into that. Do I want the crit? Sorta. So we'll just go ahead and use that. Ooh, now I kind of want to attack. Um, we should be able to heal plenty. Yeah. I don't think we need another white. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna hang on to our souls for now. We should have a lot of souls flowing in with the soul stealer. Uh, let's try and minimize how much he eats. Okay, two shot. That's not bad. We'll let you explode. This is probably a fire hive, right? Yeah. Hmm. Don't really want to attack him. Ooh, especially with no healing on hand. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Maybe one of these are better? Crit's definitely nice. I should probably use crit against the amalgam. Um, I think we're good, though. Do we even want to touch purples? I, or blues, I mean. Maybe, but I really don't know for what. Um... We'll try one. Ooh, this is like not a terrible investment. This actually isn't bad either. After spell use, gain plus one HP. That might actually be better for now. Because we could just try and spam. Because we could also get the offhand, the book, the offhand book. And... We could try and spam. Ooh, we could pick up a rock and we could spam. We could just spam all over. Let's do it. Let's do it. Try and get this HP back. Uh, companion's definitely better for the spam. Ambush, better for the items maybe i don't know do we get garbage out of whatever we uh we find in here this could be a death you guys may not see this video never mind i heavily why aren't we spamming overestimated the uh what we were gonna run into there uh oh man we're like really diving into <laughs> uh the potential for negative stats this game we're gonna pick this up gives us tons of defense we already have infinite speed we have decent attack and we now we all we have negative uh we have negative clarity again already with this still giving us plus five uh we want to kill everything we can with this uh we're gonna heal actually and then attack once use the rock We'll go with a little more attack. And then lots of defense. Yeah. Kill. Use the heal. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll kill him with the rock. Oof. Rig. I was really banking on that being an enemy. We could just... Uh, Get for free. Is there anything I want in there? Sorta. Just trying to sacrifice. I kind of want the full heal. But I don't think we actually need it. Wait a minute. This is a cure. So we could sacrifice the HP here to get two more procs. And that didn't even hurt us because this doesn't count as a combat turn. Oh, great. But we can't get out. All right. So we need to leave now. Right? Or we grab something out of here. But I think I like the rock better. And so we leave and don't take the poison damage. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Uh, sure. All right. We can do that. Heal. Move over here. Hit him with the rock. Go back. Heal again. Ew. This is uh, not my favorite. We can kill both of these guys with the rock. We're gonna kill one with the rock, kill one because we can still benefit from that and get. Uh, we can still benefit from our giant's wraps, but 
get some proc or get the heal rather very nice we're definitely hanging on to this rock for now reprieve i think i'm just going to take the crossroads wishful fountain of life we're gaining a lot of hp i don't really, even really think there's anything i want to want to sacrifice for wishful uh, but we will go into one of these rooms so that we can potentially get another point for our gambler's reward. Yep, yep, we got one more, or we got two more HP for our gambler's reward, and we should get it again right here. All right, not quite. Uh, no, I do not want those stats. Now we should get another point for our gambler's reward. Yes, another two points. All right. Get a couple more kills here. Again, just trying to abuse the fact that we can kill everything with our rock and gain our giant's wraps. Rocks. We're taking a lot of damage here from this bile bag. Kind of just is what it is. Grab more defense for sure. We can kill him with the rock. Probably should have killed him with a basic attack so that we could have healed, but... Oh well. Chills. Sure. I don't think there's like... A super reason not to go into chills, but I'm a little wary. Okay, free purple. That always looks good for us. Possessed robe. We lose. All right, we don't lose any defense in our current state because uh, we're already under half HP. So this might actually be the pickup. But we also will be getting less HP per room because we have positive clarity now. But again, I think that's okay because. If we don't survive to the end game, then none of this matters. We can attack three times here and then kill with rock. Yes. And heal. Get two more rock rocks. Um, yes. Easy pickup. Ooh, you're a beef boy. Healing effects restore double the amount. So that would make our cure heal for six. We lose some attack. I don't know if this is really the item we need. Oh my god, that's terrible. Yikes. Well, we can't get rid of chaotic underwear. Collector's disguise is basically a death sentence, so we actually have to trash that, which feels horrible. But it is what it is, you know? Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta do things you're unhappy with. We can get a couple more procs for our Giants wraps, though, so we're still gaining our HP. Um, we're only getting one point per room now because we only have one negative stat, which is how Gambler's Reward works. Uh, where are you going? You're going to the right, so we're going to beat you there. Um, I think we grab attack here. Then we grab defense. Very nice. We can do this. He's going to poison, but we can heal. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Oh, God. All right. We got heals. We're good for it. All right. And now, do we pick up a purple? We don't want... Do we want this? I don't know. That's only giving us five now, so we could still go negative.
Hmm. That just gives us a bunch of HP. Oh gosh, this is really risky. I don't even know if this is like a good play. All we need is like a full heal and we, we've got all the health that we could want to play with. Can't pick those up. I mean, we have 32 HP, so we're definitely not, it's not like we're close to death, but it feels like it because of the way our health is working. See, with this, if we're gonna be able to hit first, we need to be able to also kill basically in one shot like this is spooky okay oh like this situation super sucks yikes um okay we move heal kill kill again use these I love how much we have to like micromanage our our items right now. It's actually really great. And I don't think I care about this enemy at all. We need defense so bad it's ridiculous. Uh, and I think we're going to save for a purple item. We need defense and we need heals. Wait, does zero count as a negative? Do we just get 2 HP for that one? All right, we can attack once here, and then heal, and then we can move, and they'll all move together. So then this way we get as much damage on these guys as possible. We can actually use our rock on him. And if you didn't think that rock was like, that rock had value, yeah, I hope this is a, a good enough showcase for it. Rock, I think Rock is amazing. I mean, in this particular case, it, it pairs really well with our boots, but the ability to just one-shot things without actually having to take a turn is, is really big. It really does hold a, a lot of value. We're going to go for our purple here, see if we can get this freaking thing that we're looking for. Um... We don't have any poison, so this wouldn't do us much good right now, but I, I really want the defense. <sighs> Neither of these items help us at all. Pretty much same situation there. Ranged creatures. I might actually pick this up. All we lose is HP, and we don't even have... We haven't been over... Freaking 35 HP this whole time. Let's grab that. And actually, now that I think about it, we kind of want some blue chests because we could get a... Uh, we could get the uh, Hermit's Pockets, which could give us a, basically the opposite stats of um, our current pants. So... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we can't kill... We can kill all the frogs with our rock. Come on, more frogs. Thank you. Heal. All right. Give us this useless item that we're not going to pick up. And we're out of here. Uh, attack. He killed himself. Our camouflage is coming in handy here. Soulcraft. Um, we could soulcraft our pants. Honestly, I want those stats back because we're only benefiting from 3 HP. We gave up... I mean, we're, I guess we're benefiting from the speed as well, but all we need is negative 1 speed. So we gave up 6 stats, basically, for 3 in return, which isn't the best. Didn't really want to attack him, but I already committed to it. So, yikes. Let's heal up a bit. 
Ooh, free gold. That feels good. All right. And so how, what do we want in here? We definitely want the gold, right? Uh, ooh, free. Well, we, okay. So cure is keeping us alive, right? Keeping us alive right now. We can't get rid of cure. However, Scare Divisions is just objectively better than what we're dealing with right now. And if we can get negative clarity, it'll double that. And now we try for this gem. No, don't really want any of this. Ooh, Amorphous Mass is really, really good too. And that knocks down our clarity a little bit, which is nice. Gives us some defense. I think we're going to pick that up. All right. Feeling much better now. Still 50 plus HP. Uh-oh. Did we give away what gives us our... No, we're just in a, in a shop. Okay. Um, we can't afford any of this. We're too poor. We do not have the souls required. Uh, we're going to do this. Yep. That's fine. We're gonna go back the other way because we don't know what those things are over there. Stops us from getting pinched. Uh, now we can move back towards, and we can go the other way. Maybe, yeah, no, no, we're not gonna get any hits on these moon birds, but that's fine. Much more defense now, feeling a lot more confident in this build. I should have waited to use my cure. That's fine. Okay, he's gonna use his soul attack, which is fine. We move away, move back, kill him, heal up. Save our next cure for that plague bear. We're not gonna kill this attack, so we need to move. Can't quite kill him with the uh, with the rock. And now we can attack here. Heal up. We can attack again. We're going to need to attack twice. Um, let's see if we can set him up next to a door. So we can't afford that. Ooh, we don't really want to grab. Oh, we could we could uh, get rid of... Okay, let's try this first. Uh, no. No. Dang, that kind of sucks. Uh, nothing really of use there. So let's get on the other side of him. Get rid of this do we maybe do we get rid of rock now we're kind of getting to the point where there's no where we're not getting much value out of rock we could just pick up an explosive and make it so we only have to yeah use explosive yeah i think that's good oh i didn't even think we had a reprieve over here too but all right so then we'll use this okay we success we, we uh successfully picked it up anyways but if it did hurt us then we had the extra healing from the reprieve i totally like wasn't even paying attention to the reprieve as far as what path we're taking this front, this game, I have no idea. I have little confidence in our ability to win this game, but you never know. Wait, did I just say as to what path? We're going the light path. We have to go the light path. All right, so that means we need to build defense. We need to have stats. Keep healing. Um... Oh, man, too bad we don't have... Well, it doesn't even matter. All right, let's see if we can get our cure back before we go... Oh, shoot. Okay. We'll attack. Attack. Heal. Attack. Oh, shoot, I should have done it in between. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We're, we're fine. Um, 60% chance. If we do go for him, we're going for him last. Attack there, heal up, attack, heal up, and kill. Frog ritual, I don't care about right now. Why does that make us go down by two? Oh, because of our skirt of visions, right? And how many souls do you give? Nine? That's not going to get us what we want. Uh, if we take... Mm, nope. See you later. Trying to sacrifice, don't really want it. Reprieve, eh. Restrained heart. 
could be good if we went reprieve. But I don't think... I'm not really comfortable dropping my health that low. All right, Nefarious. Heal three points for each negative point of clarity on dungeon exit. Why? And we don't get negative clarity because it gives us clarity now. Frig. So we actually want void. Do we just keep going? Do we keep going for the void? I don't know. Potion bank? Probably better than cure at this point since that's what we're using cure for. Trying to sacrifice. Let's go into reprieve, see if we can grab a potion. That could actually save us later on. Um, do we just heal with both of these? Yeah, because we just used potion bank. What happens if you use potion bank on a. Yeah, that. It's not. There's no way it's. Well, we have enough. We have enough health to play around with. So we get one potion. Is, does this. Oh yeah, you can see it there. It's it's still a cursed potion, even though it doesn't indicate differently. All right. This is actually a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this run. Um, very nice. We'll grab defense there. I think. Kill. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I gotta move before I get myself pinched, and we can kill you. It doesn't matter. Bye bye. Let's do this. There we go. Now we're good. Oh, wait a minute. We should be using this on every potion, right? So that we can keep stacking Giant's Wrap. So don't ever pick up a potion unless we use our potion bank. Okay, so let's use this. It hurt us, but we can grab this thing. Which gives us another thing. And then we can... Oh, man. Potion Bank with Giant's Wraps are actually... Is actually great. Um, so... Let's do this first, I guess. And then we can heal. We'll Potion Bank again. And then we can kill him. Actually, let's do that. And then we can heal. Uh... We do have to be a little careful, though. <laughs> Can't be too wild with ourselves. All right. Let's grab this. Ooh, we could get into the negative clarity now. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, because the whole point of negative clarity is because we needed a gem to replace... Yeah, neither of these are good. Hmm. That's a bummer. All right, let's kill both of these, I think. Gives us some more souls, and I kind of want to just use this for the sake of Giant's Wraps, but it's going to force us. I mean, what happens if we use it? Okay, so now we got one potion. What happens if now we try and grab another potion? Oh, this is a spicy room. Our stats suck for going into the, uh, <laughs> into the light side. Okay, so he's one shot, but he's in his defensive form. And since we picked up a garbage one, I'm okay with trying this. So does this just replace what we have? It does. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we can grab that, grab this. I want to see if we can finagle being able to have, mm, what, 105 souls at the end of this? We're going to heal again. Ah, oh, fuck, we shouldn't have. <clears throat> What do we do? Let's go this way. We're gonna kill this uh, fiend. So now we have enough to pick up the purple. 
as well as use our upgrade still. We just need to have 30 souls. Um, let's reroll for nothing really good, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Do we even have... <clears throat> excuse me. Do we even have another potion in the room? Does, does this even matter right now? Maybe we roll once more. Memoir. Sure. Uh, but don't work here, please, Memoir. Oh, we don't have enough souls. Right. Uh, how much do you give us? You give us 10. Yeah, I'll risk the HP for it. Now don't save us. All right. Let's save it. Okay. So, going into the light side with a definitely less than optimal build. Lots of HP and no other stats to really back it up, but... It is not only a light side run, but it is also... How do we have no amalgams in this room? That's kind of crazy. It is also a spoon run. Okay, we can kill you. I really want to get to this scrounger. That's, that's what I'm working at right now. Alright, so let's heal up some there. Maybe we just keep adding points into... Nah, I think we keep adding points into attack. Okay, we don't want to mess with you. Heart power. That could be really nice. Ooh, yikes. Okay, two hits, so we take ten damage here. No, we only take five. I gotta remember we're faster than anything. Heal up again. Oh, man. Yikes. All right. So, what do we do here? Holy cow. We're stuck in between two enemies that we really don't want to be next to. Ooh, but maybe we can kill one of them. If we can kill one of them, we're fine. So... We do... Let's do this. Once more. Heal. Drop the bomb on him. And then we can... I guess we kill him. Kill here. Oh, man, that didn't quite do what I needed it to, but we should be all right. Ugh, okay. So now he can't escape. Even if he runs, we can still get to him, which was the big thing. I just didn't want to have to try and juggle this guy being in between two poisonous enemies. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. That tends to be one of the more difficult rooms, but Camouflage gave us a lot of time to play around, and we happen to have a potion in a very advantageous spot for us. Don't be an amalgam. All right. No amalgams at all? Oh, gosh, there he is. All right. Um, this could be really bad. We need this amalgam to die, like, really, really soon. Which should be here, right? Yeah. Okay, we're good on that. Oh, boy. What did he level up? Did he level that guy up? Oh, that's not good. Wait a minute, can we just... Oh, no, we can't. I don't, I don't think we do enough damage to just burn him down. More defense. Let's keep healing. Oh. Did you get buffed? You definitely got buffed by him, didn't you? Not that we could kill you anyways, but... Oh, God. Yikes, man. What the heck? Maybe we do have to just kill him. Okay, what's your stats like? So we do 19 damage and attack. What we could do here... Oh, man, because if we start taking attacks from this guy, how much damage does he have? All right, 
This might be the end of the video, but I think we're in a position here where we should try and burn this guy down. It's going to take us four attacks. Um, and let's just hope it works out. He's buffing the fire hives. That's the best thing that could happen to us. Ooh. Okay, get out. <laughs> All right, we're getting through it. Uh, this is another boss we can just uh, burn down because all we have to do is kill him before we die to anything else in the room, basically. So let's heal. They're going to explode, which also kills the bio bag. There's two scroungers in here, which is really great for us. Um, big healing in here as well. This is like a reprieve. Holy crap. More defense. Okay. Nothing too special going on here. Alright, yeah, this is uh, pretty painless. All we need to do is be able to... Oh, maybe there's more um, stats in this room. Or more potions in this room on normal because of the fact that you actually need to tank the boss. And it's supposed to be kind of like an informal way of teaching how to handle this boss. All right, not bad. We still have our giant's wraps, so we could actually... Oh, we can't even use that. We could use this, though. Do we heal with it? Oh, oh we actually healed. Nice. So our next the next potion we pick up, we can actually... thats I, That was a bit of a misplay by me. We should have been using our, our potion bank on all of those potions and boosting up our uh, HP since there were so many in there. Right now, I'm just in survival mode, you know? I just want to make sure we make it out alive. Mm, do I want to leave you there now? Because I don't want to do that. Oh, well, I guess I don't get the choice. We can actually tank those now. Oh, you need to die. Nope, not happening. Get out of here. Alright. We can kill this creature. Very nice. Um, we'll go defense. Attack. Kill that creature. And now what we'll do is we'll heal. Use all of these first. All the cursed ones. And then... Oh my god, we're saving them sometimes because of our freaking memoir? <laughs> there and then we'll actually save this one and we just keep gaining HP from those giants wraps I've never actually like had the opportunity I feel like at least to utilize giants wraps this well but we've probably gained like 30 or 40 HP through giants wraps because you gotta remember we started at 3 HP in this run oh boy what do we got going on here uh, feels bad a little bit. Is this vision? Yeah. So this is the last room. Chaotic underwear. Actually, a good steal on this part. Or lucky steal, I guess. There's no, like, skill involved in the absorbs, right? <laughs> um, we'll grab defense. Why do we do no damage to you? 76? What? Okay. That's crazy. All right. Um. Well, let's kill everything else in the room first. Besides that spine back, because he's an absolute monster. We can kill him there. Don't have to worry about his ability. Grab that potion. Oh my god, he's got two of these guys in here. Alright, and for good measure, we'll go ahead and get our last Giant's Wrap proc for 80 HP. Heal up for full, and we're outie. Finish the game with a full 80 HP. Nice. 
All right, we barely even picked up any items that run. But there was our first uh, light run on the inverted candle. And we did finish the game with a golden spoon, but unfortunately, I believe you do have to kill the owl with a golden spoon to continue to upgrade it. Uh, so we didn't get the upgrade, but we still finished it with a golden spoon. I mean, realistically, it's pretty good on inverted candle. You do start with very little HP, but that's not really a problem as long as you can get a couple stat increases. But we had a bunch of fun items to play around with. Gambler's reward was crazy for us. Uh, Black Opal was something that we could just never get rid of. Um, Soul Stealer actually allowed us to make, make a lot of our um, trades that we did. And then between Giant's Wrap and our potion bank we just we were able to abuse that so hard and, and, and stack up some real hp so if you did enjoy the video please leave a like leave a comment let me know what you guys want to see subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we will catch you in the next one